Hello and welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is all going to be about HP Elite Folio. Now the reason why I have mentioned Unbox Therapy here is the gentleman at Unbox Therapy has given us the best unboxing video of this beautiful premium notebook but they have missed some intricate details which from a customer's point of view are necessary while be buying such expensive and premium notebooks so i have put together a video which consists of all those intricate details and the things which you all need to see before you get into buying such uh, premium notebooks so let's take a look so what is this arm pc let's first understand it so arm pcs are the pcs which run on arm processor they don't run on any kind of intel or amd processors and they are fitted with arm processors only so these arm processor only operate on 32 bit system architecture and windows has built separate system for such pcs which have these separate 32 bit architecture and whenever you want to run something which runs on 64 bit on these 32 bits you need a emulator and when you need a emulator you take a hit on the performance and the battery life of such arm pcs and that's how the arm pcs are defined they do not run simply like laptops or let's say macbooks but they are a whole another platform present in the market today before you go and pick it up in the market you need to know some of the details which are present here and these details are given to you by me and there are three modes present here on this hp elite folio to transform itself from laptop to a tablet first of all it when you open it just like a normal laptop it opens like a normal laptop and when you just Un unhook it from the uh, magnetic cover it just gets unhooked but it doesn't get fully detached it gets into tent mode and after that it transforms itself again from tent mode to a tablet mode it has magnets all over it also this display is 19 1920 into 1280 pixel the best part about this laptop is or let's say high-end premium notebook is you get the best leather co back cover on it which is totally attached to this PC or this notebook and when you hold it in the hand and when you are going somewhere it totally looks like a uh, physical diary or a notebook but it's actually a premium PC that's how good looking this HP Elite Folio is and the best part of all the keyboard remains attached all the time no matter what you do it doesn't get detached yes and on this keyboard they have given excellent thing that is the joystick as being a premium notebook this is a totally touch screen notebook and they have provided a provision or a slot to put the pencil or the joystick in it and the best part of all is this joystick doesn't get uh, you know gone like it doesn't get lost because of the uh, slot present on the front of it it always remains in front of your eyes and there is a sim tray which lets you get connected all the time and it you can put a 5g sim on it which lets you connect all the time to the internet you don't need a necessarily need a wi-fi all the time so that's how a uh, good invention hp has done here if you compare this premium notebook with surface pro in terms of speakers then this premium notebook has a good pair of speakers provided to you by bang and ulufsen and they sound really great hp claims the battery backup is around at 20 hours here and also there are two usb ports present on this uh, laptop or let's say this premium notebook at its bottom of the keyboard where it doesn't create any mess it just feels like a normal laptop uh, and doesn't create any clutter just like that surface pro where you have to attach this uh, usb ports at the side of the screens and these usb ports are type c and they do not support thunderbolt the specs here are really awesome it has a snapdragon 8 cx generation 2 
and the uh, ssd is having a capacity of storage capacity of 512 gb and a 16 gb ram but the performance is not as close as macbook m1 yes the macbook pro with m1 chipset has the best performance in this category because of its chipset which is m1 chipset which is house manufactured by apple in transition from buying chipsets from intel to manufacturing their own so yes macbook pro with m1 chipset has the best performance if compared in this price range with hp elite folio and surface pro if you are going to buy this hp elite folio you ne really need to evaluate your usage if you are a let's say browser user or a you know the some kind of microsoft office things user or let's say google sheet user this thing is perfect for you but if you are using some kind of application like you cannot use any kind of adobe applications here on this hp elite pro and therefore you need to think about it before you buy and think very well that's what i recommend you guys also if you are going to really buy this thing let me tell you one thing the price range here is significantly high for this H hp elite folio and if you come down for a price range which is little bit than this hp elite folio then you get better laptops which really handle 64 bit architectural softwares and they can handle the workload given by you very easily without taking a hit at the performance and the battery therefore please evaluate yourself and your usage before buying this expensive piece of tech and with this bombshell i would like to end today's vlog and i'll see you again tomorrow till then ciao